Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Westfield is brought to you by Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Seton Hall Prep is being brought to you by One on One with Steve Adubato. We have one more big time showdown to close out the second week of the season. Number one ranked Seton Hall Prep travels to Westfield to face the Blue Devils. Folks, grab your popcorn for this game. Westfield showed no fear early on. Colin Coyle scores an unassisted goal midway through the first. The Blue Devils take a one goal lead. Seton Hall Prep would tie it up. Tyler Julin is a dangerous threat. The bounce shot is money. We've got a 2-2 game after one. Julin would score again to open the second, and then the Pirates tack on another. Look at this passing. Luke Knezevic scores from point blank range. Seton Hall Prep now leads 4-2. But here come the Blue Devils. After a goal from Billy Gurn, it's Colin Coyle firing from long distance. Westfield is right back in this game. We're tied up at 4 all, and the Westfield bench erupts in celebration. Garrett Ferguson would score soon after to make it 5-4 Westfield. Seton Hall Prep is now trying to stop the skid. Corey Guilford makes a big save. Guilford instantly looks down the field, and uh-oh, he's out of the crease. Corey Guilford will race out to midfield. He fires off a perfect pass to his brother, Christian Guilford. Yes! What a play! The Guilford brothers connect the score in a wild sequence. That's four straight goals for Westfield. It's a 6-4 game going into the half. Third quarter now. The Blue Devils continue to dice up the Pirates with all these long passes. Ben Seward to Garrett Ferguson. Go ahead and make it 7-4 Westfield. The Blue Devils would score six unanswered goals to take a commanding lead. Cody Lamb gets involved. Westfield carries an 8-5 advantage going into the fourth. Seton Hall Prep would trail by as much as four goals in the final quarter, but here they come. Nolan Sable finds the back of the cage with a man advantage. Tyler Julin would follow that up with his third goal of the day, and the deficit shrinks again. Seton Hall Prep now trails just by two. And then Owen Dunleavy will turn quick and fire to make it a one goal game. The Pirates score three times in 70 seconds. It's now just 9-8 Westfield. A man advantage opportunity would help the Blue Devils slow things down and get the game under control. Cody Lamb is a hat trick. That comes with under four to play. Westfield up 10 to eight. Seton Hall Prep had its back up against the wall, but in transition, they will deliver. This is Tyler Julin's fourth goal of the day. We're back to a two goal game with under two minutes left to play. Seton Hall Prep has had their fair share of thrilling comebacks over the last few years, but Friday was not one of them. Corey Guilford was so locked in, he makes one more save. It's his biggest of the day, and that would be Seton Hall Prep's last chance. Down goes the number one team in the state. Westfield stuns Seton Hall Prep. 10 to nine is the final. We may be only two weeks into the season, but this is a major statement by the Blue Devils, and they show why they are one of New Jersey's most dangerous teams. We're a bunch of dogs. We work together, have that chemistry. And how good does it feel? Feels awesome, sir. You know, our main game plan was just to possess the ball the whole game. So we had the ball around 75% of the game. We know they have a bunch of shooters. So if we have the ball, they're not going to shoot. They have a very powerful offense. And if we have the ball, we're going to keep, keep bringing it to them, keep getting good shots, making a few mistakes, and just possess the ball. That was our game plan. Reporting from Westfield, I'm Jay Cook. JerseySportsZone.com